Time now for the Parish Show. Welcome to the News and This. Maniac, June, July 6th, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. 11 o'clock. News and I'm here. Our top story here. 11 o'clock here on this late Monday night here is... A battle TV superstar, Bill Cosby, admitted to giving women quadrants and said that he obtained the drugs with the idea that he would give them the women he wanted to have sex with, according to the court found released on Monday. In uh, Kakul, Turkey, the unexpected rat of Islamic State forces across the wide Arctic territory in the northeastern Syrian heartland has exposed vulnerabilities in the ranks of the militants and also the limited to the U.S. In Athens, Germany continued to maintain a hard line with Athens on Monday, just a day after Greek voters successfully rejected a bailout deal from its creditors. A man accused of killing another young woman in a tourist every area. San Francisco has been formally charged with her for murder, officials said. In Berlin, on his glass strikes at Stormen in Germany, his prominent last week left wing opposition leader Gregor Grissi has lit into Chancellor Angela Merkel's soup for settling in Greece with a staggering, unflavored rate, devastating wage cuts in soup kitchens. The negotiations over Iran's effort to develop nuclear weapons are about to be completed. This will trigger one of the most important congressional debates in American history. Guacal, Ecuador. Pope Francis received a hero's welcome in Ecuador's biggest city on Monday as he celebrated the first public mass of his South African tour. No, South American tour, telling hundreds of thousands of people their families are the bedrock of society. In Frankfurt, San Francisco. As Republicans tremble to distance themselves from Donald Trump's Rachel charged rallying the crowd. Some party leaders went to avoid the kind of Republican on Republican bounce that may have hurt Mitt Romney before the last U.S. election. South Carolina senators on Monday took a landmark step toward the removal of the Confederate battle flag from the state house grant, a proven bipartisan legislature in overwhelming 37 3 votes, but only after a long debate about whether such symbols glorify. In Portland, Maine, the mother of a man who had tried to launch a firework off the top of his head for July 4th was killed. In this lady said Monday, she's never confessed strict controls about who can use the explosives. In Milltown, Connecticut, Connecticut police are searching for Monday for a seven month old baby who may have been thrown off the bridge by his father before the man jumped more than 100 feet into the Connecticut River in a suicide attempt. The Oregon legislature ended its 2015 session with accomplishments and disappointments that Slater said. The final encounter fell about 6.04 p.m. Agent Marcus Rose early Tuesday has best to shrug off true concerns over Greece's debt situation and China's economy, which led to a plunge in oil prices. In Singapore, crude oil prices still adds on Tuesday morning after forcing one of the bigger selves of the oh, yesterday about Greece's rejection of the debt bailout terms and China's stock market woes. Los Angeles, your morning latte at Starbucks will set you back a few more cents starting Tuesday. As that's because the nation's largest coffee chain has raised the prices from 5 to 20 cents on many drinks. Breast cancer screenings may not lead to fewer deaths, but may lead to overdiagnosis. People in Skokie, Illinois, are taking the extra precautions out to mosquitoes. They're tested positive at West Nile virus. The Skokie, Illinois Health Department says so far there are no confirmed cases in humans. A study of people were born which for the year of each other has uncovered a huge goal in the speed at which their bodies age to report in traits such as weight, kidney function, and gum health. Pregnant women of epilepsy may have more than a higher risk of dying during delivery, a new study suggests. Looking at it, it's alert. See here at 11.05. Dartmouth, Massachusetts, more than than Flag Swap Road and Fonts Quarter Road. Pitch to with extra gear from vehicle and vehicles fully involved. Peter Tell News Time, 11.05 p.m. on this. Money at time and a half out. Travel report here. And 24 in the northbound side. It's a little slow for the student stretch and 24 northbound. It's 24 smooth sailing here. And 195 in the eastbound side. A little slow in the Dartmouth stretch before Route 140 in the Bedford here. 
95 on the set, man's had from Queen Street and Sharon all the way up to Mechanic Street and Sharon here. 129 in the north. Step on side that sold between Route 28 and Randolph and Route 37 and Braintree here. Mass back in the. One forty six at the step on side. It is sold for the mass pack to Millbury here. Today in any fan side sold before one forty six in Worcester. Mass pack in the north. East fan side it is sold from nine three in Boston all the way at the Logan Airport. Mass pack in the west fan side sold from Crew Tunnel two. Austin Brenton Tolls, Mass Pack in the East Bandside, so for the Austin Brenton Tolls here. 195 in the South Bandside, so for Route 3, Bill Rickard to Route 4 in Chelmsford here. 195 in the South Bandside, so for Route 97 in Abel to report 213 minutes doing here. 495 in the North Bandside, also around 125 in Abel here. Every turf pack a little sold in the Merrimack stretch here. 95 in the north bend side, also around Route 101 in Hampton or after here, and main turn back here. On the north bend side, a little slow in New York Toll Plaza here. 95 in the north bend side, a little slow up around Route 101 in Northampton or after here. Alright, looking at New England Alerts here at 11.07 here. No, no! Looking at the MBTA Alerts at 11.07. Come here, rails, looking good. Red Line, Ashmont Branch, Christian Bundle with Police Action at Ashmont, and Ferries are looking good. Peter Channel News Time, 11.07 p.m. on this Monday night. Time now for a weather report here. Congratulations here to North Massachusetts at 11.08 p.m., 6.4 degrees, 7 degrees, first guys, with 89%, once base come, about around 30 foot 11 inches, 2 foot about 600 degrees, and uh, visibility of 10 miles an hour here. All right, looking at current conditions of man in the region here, 73 degrees in Boston, 72 in Bedford, 70 in Beverly, it is 72 in Gloucester, 75 in Fitchburg, 72 in Worcester, 71 in Sturbridge, 70 in Norwood, 66 in Taunton, 68 in Bedford, it's 73 in Plymouth, 66 in Providence, 66 in Falmouth, 68 in Chatham, and in Cape Cod Bay, 64 in Marshall Vineyard, 64 in Nantucket, 70 in Block On, 69 in Wesley, and 68 in Smithfield, 74 in New York City, 75 in Islip, 71 in Montauk, 73 in, in Bridgeport, 73 in New Haven, at 72 in Meriden, it's 70 in Danbury and Waterbury, it's 73 in Hartford and Woodlock, 73 in Springfield, 72 in Airfall, 68 in North Adams, Massachusetts, 71 in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, 78 in Alton, Albany, New York, 70 in Sturgeon Springs, 66 in Mainton, and Rutland and Barber Vermont, 65 in Lebanon, Hampshire, 70 in King Hampshire, 69 in Jefferson, Hampshire, 74 in Nashville and Portsmouth, Hampshire, 71 in Manchester and Cochrane, Hampshire, 72 in Lockwood and Hampshire, and 68 up in Portland, Maine. Here, all uh, right, looking at the uh, service map here, shows a cold front stretching from the Four Quarter region, stretching through western Texas, merged with a stage front from Oklahoma, merged with a cold front for the Missouri, and a stage front for the Ohio Valley, and merged with a cold front for the Virginians, and out to sea here with a low pressure way out the Virginian coastline. Here, a warm front up to sea here. A uh, photobiot from the north central and central portion of California, and a photobiot from the southwestern portion of Nevada, and from southeastern California. Low pressure with a photobiot through the Gulf of California, and a photobiot from through central Mexico here. Low pressure centers in west central Texas and central Missouri and the Ohio River Valley here, and high pressure in the Gulf of Mexico, and northwest Wyoming, and northern Great Lakes, and up in the eastern portion of Quebec here. 78 degrees at temperature and Detroit, 72 in Pittsburgh, 79 in Washington, D.C., and London, Georgia. It's 85 in Miami, Florida. It's 85 in Brownsville, Texas. It's 89 in Dallas, Texas, 73 in Kansas City, in Omaha, Nebraska, 79 in Chicago, 71 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 73 in Great Falls, Montana, 84 in Seattle, 70 in San Francisco, 66 in Los Angeles, 86 in Las Vegas, it's 81 in Salt Lake City, Utah, 64 in Denver, 73 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and 102 degrees in Phoenix, Arizona. Air. All right, let's look at those. Radar situation here. At 11.10, and it shows a lot of showers and storms from northwestern portions of Quebec, stretching in the eastern Ontario, stretching in western Michigan, down for southern Wisconsin, and down for northern Illinois, down for western Missouri, down through southern Kansas, down for Oklahoma, and down for western portions of Texas here. Some spotty rain showers around Pennsylvania and northern West Virginia and southeastern Virginia. Spotty rain showers and storms from west central portions of North Carolina, and a spotty rain showers around the southeastern Georgia coast. Petri rain showers in the east central and northeastern portions of Florida, and some spotty rain showers around the uh, four quarter region of the western Wyoming, 
I know down for Nevada and up in the central portions of Oregon here and a line of rain, showers, and storms. Eastern portions of British Columbia and Memphis. South central portions of Alberta with some thunderstorms. South Calgary and some spotty rain, showers, and northeastern portions of Alberta here. All right, let's look at the satellite loop here and it shows. Line of quads from eastern Pennsylvania covering much of the Delmarva Peninsula and around southeastern portions of Virginia and a line of spotty clouds around southwestern portions of Virginia and Memphis, west central portions of North Carolina and a line of rain showers from southern line of clouds from southern South Carolina and Memphis, southeastern Georgia and down for Florida air and a line of clouds from Quebec stretching into Ontario down through the Great Lakes and down through the Iowa Mississippi and Oxide stretching into down through. The Plain State down for Western Texas and Atlanta class coming up much in Port Guadalupe, just such in Nevada, Eastern California, and up to Oregon, down for Idaho, down for Wyoming here. And Atlanta class from Eastern Ports of Burst coming down for Southern Alberta. And Atlanta class from North Central Ports of Alberta and Northern Saskatchewan, up in the Northern Manitoba, and coming up to Yukon, Canada here. All right, let's look at the tropics here on this. Looking at the tropics here, nothing brewing in the Atlantic, but in the eastern Pacific here. Showers and thunderstorms associated with a large area of low pressure looking about 1450 miles east southeast of the Big Island of Hawaii are gradually becoming better organized. MRI and glacial are expected to be conducted for development, and a total cycle is likely for the next day to evolve. The system moves west northwards about 50 to 20 miles an hour. Formation chance for four hours, height 70%, formation chance for five days, height 90% here. All right, let's look at the forecast discussion around the region here. Warmer muggy conditions are to say tomorrow and Wednesday as a series of front spring scattered showers and thunderstorms. The last front weather will stall in the proximity of the south shoreline in New England for the remainder of the week, becoming a, a focus for additional wet weather. All this looks to clear out by the weekend. A lot for dry season low conditions will potentially see wet weather return along the warm and muggy pattern in the early next week. Near term forecast 7 p.m. update. Mount muggy conditions prevail in overnight. We'll see increase in moisture within the low level. So, approach from the southwest current, which the lift and warm front is a middle level ridge of a high pressure and dry air roads to the east. Acting as a blanket of loads this evening, which should be. Mount in overnight, as with valves in the mid to upper 60s, warmer, more swing, southwest ring, where low clouds expected to this morning. Uh, and in the morning as there is a greater probability of increase in H9 to five moisture. Some sort of patch cloud mainly for the south southeast coast where dew points presently are in the mid upper sixties and south winds continue to slowly affect in higher dew point and air northward as lesser coverage across the interior considering forecast lows and crossover thresholds as many locales mixed out well today with the dew points around the upper fifties but dew points are well rebounded nicely. May need to keep an eye on this here. Alright, let's look at some weather notes here on this. Monday night here. Today's highs ran in the New England region reached in the 80s. With the exception of Nantucket at 78 degrees at the Warble High for Boston, 81 degrees as of for July 6th. It'll be another warm and humid day tomorrow with a few chances of a pop of shelter storm. Some we may get, some may not here. So if you got any after activities, you're good to go. Just keep your eye in the sky for a pop up shower or a thunderstorm here. And expected tomorrow's highs for the Cape and South Shore and Rhode Island, 81 to 85 degrees. And Boston Ports Northwest, 79 to 86 degrees. And wherever first heavy rain will be high, thunder medium, and winds low. Alright, if you're going out to the beach for tomorrow, the seals will be 1 to 2 feet. Water temperature, 63 to 68 degrees. Air temperature, 75. Rip current risk low at UV index, 9 very highs. Alright. So today forecast goes like this. Overnight, patch back after 4 a.m. Most Most clouds got to what? 65 degrees. Let's stop wind. Tuesday, SA shots and thunderstorms after 11 a.m. Patch back before 8 a.m. Most of the clouds got about 84 degrees. Stop for about 5 to 10 miles like a side is. 26 miles an hour. Chest pace to 20%. 20 
For that, fetch back up to 3 and watch most class got lower at 69 degrees. Suffered about 68 miles an hour. Good side is 28 miles an hour. West Wednesday. Slight touch of shots. That's shots of the thrust likely afternoon. Fetch back before 8 and watch. Put the sex guys by 86 degrees. Suffered us winning about 7 miles an hour. Chest pace is 6%. New rainfall amounts between the 7th quarter and then checks and hammer. It's possible thunderstorms. With that, so, so showers of thunderstorms, most guys got low at 63 degrees. Cobb with chest rotation is 40%. Thursday, chest of showers available for noon. Most guys got about 67 degrees. Chest rotation is 30%. Thursday, that, fetch your got to 4 a.m. Watts. Most guys got low at 62 degrees. Friday, fetch your fog before 7 a.m. Watts. Put the sex guys at 82 degrees. For that, podcast got low at 62 degrees. Saturday, Saturday, podcast got at 83 to about 62 degrees. Sunday, most Saturday, most guys got at 83 to about 62 degrees. And Monday, chest of showers, put the sex guys at about 82 degrees. Chest rotation is 30%. Peters, what a phrase of the night! Ah, it's warm and humid day tomorrow with a few chances of showers here. Peter telling you some 11 17 p.m. Time for sports round this Monday night here. All right, first off, looking at Major League Baseball scores on this Monday night since the Red Sox are the night off, and tomorrow they have a two game series against the Miami Heat, Miami Marlins here at Fenway Park. All right, Major League Baseball scores here. No score in the seventh school in the top of the fifth between the seventh school Giants and New York Mets. The Phillies lead the Los Angeles Dodgers 5 3 in the top of the third at Dodger Stadium. Detroit Tigers lead the Salem Mariners 3 11 in the top of the fourth. Atlanta Braves lead the Milwaukee Brews 5 3 in the bottom of the eighth. Pittsburgh Pirates edge at the center of Padres 2 1. Cincinnati Reds snip the Washington Nationals 3 2. Houston Astros with Cleveland Cavaliers. Houston Astros with Cleveland Indians 9 4. St. Louis Cardinals blank the Chicago Cubs 2 0. Minnesota Twins with the Baltimore Orioles 4 2. And Chicago White Sox with the Tom Brown Blue Jays 4 2. The Pawtucket Red Sox fall to the Syracuse Sky Chiefs in Syracuse, 3 to 2. David West definitely wants his first NBA championship. Manageable, he couldn't resist for the fifth. Pope Pride Brothers Block there takes a pretty big pick up to do it. And London, Serena Williams hailed perfect sister Venus as the inspiration for a march towards tennis history after the five time champion won the Wimbledon showdown on Monday. Florida State has dismissed freshman quarterback DeAndre Johnson from the team. Coach Jim Fisher did not slate Monday as Johnson was removed from the team out of video service that showed it a punch of a woman at a bar. In Wilberton, England, a bid for a shock lap set at Wilberton, perhaps a remarkable recovery of reserve Monday with darkness to see the produce a tennis cliffhanger. Mo Williams returned to the Cleveland Cowboys on a two year $4.3 million deal, sources said. Brock Clark isn't just a rock star, he also has a 2015 NBA MLB All-Star as a Red Sox utility player was named as American League Reserve in field on a Monday night. American League players voted for no rails to start an All-Star game. The Highland Display showdown between Roy Beckler and Jordan Speed for the next week's British Open is adept after McRoy injured his left ankle in the weekend while playing soccer. Boston in one fell swoop, Boston with Ricky General Manager Don Street made sure there will be no late negotiated process for the team's remaining restricted free agents. The World Box Organization stripped for its very rare of junior evidence. World Weight Title D1 against many Pac-1 by second that WBO issued a resolution Tuesday. Sprint Cup driver Austin Dillon directly walked away from a center crash at the end of the Cook 2 quarter at Daytona as 13 fans were examined for injuries. Avenging Kitsunov signs new two year $6 million deal with the Washington Capitals. New York Giants, Devensa, and Jason Pierre Paul could miss all trade cap as well as the start of the regular season as a result of a hand to set in fireworks session over the July 4th weekend. Known Aaron Phillips and what many with Colorado Rockies expect to be great as he routinely takes speed from his legendary teammates with his ability to speak Spanish again and tackle with a name Mickey Mass, a fellow Southern California native. Lightweight title contender Gilbert Melendez has been suspended for one year. By the UFC for failing a post fight drug test, the UFC announced the suspension on Monday. As NBA free agency begins a quick rundown, the trio of Texas teams have made a dramatic impact this season with their three of the best front office performances in the league. The numbers and Joe Trey said Alex Barber deserves to be representing the American League in the next Tuesday's All Star game, but fans, as fellow players, and AL manager Ned just evidently but otherwise. For seven years, In Memphis, Mark Gussel has bonded the Grizzlies' great and grand mentor as my chance for winning finally game time for Gussel hit the open the market was no surprise that North Team had chance as Memphis Grizzlies kicked Mark Gussel for five years and $100 million report. And that's me for our sports. That's me for the page channel. Love the call news on this. Late night, July 6, 2015. Peter, have a good night.
See you tomorrow morning with a more important. Good night.